Hello, this is from the shelves. Doing my um, look at my Criterion. Last one. Now it's on to our video. Let's start. Vixen. This is when uh, Arrow first came about. Arrow Films. Super Vixen. Super Vixens. Beyond the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Which first saw this on Sky and thought, what the hell is this we're watching? Boobies. Fan is out everywhere and it's like, oh my god, what's happening there? But it was so funny. Such a funny film. Up. Oh. Fast Pussycat Kill Kill. The People Under the Stairs. Still holds up. Still a fantastic film. Dressed to Kill. Dario Argento's Inferno. John Carpenter's Big Trouble in Little China. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Joe Dante's The Burbs. I'd say this has got to be in my top five of favourite films with Neil and I. Wow. Just a film that's just steeped in one-liners. Fantastic. Island of Death. Eaten Alive. Toby Hooper. One of my um, other favourites. Society. Just quirky film. Just crazy. When the shit happens at the end, it's just still quirky and still like, what the fuck? The Black Cat. Lucio Fulci, not one of his best, but mm. Joe Dante again, Matinee, Grace Jones in Vamp. This is a brilliant vampire film. I do like this one. Catched it late night on uh, BBC Two, it was. Loved it ever since. To Live and Die in LA. The Hills of Eyes. This is good. I like this one. I think that the uh, remake is. Hmm. Better in so many ways, but yeah. Contamination. Okay, next up. Deranged. Loosely based on a head game. The famous Wisconsin serial killer. Talking of serial killers, Psycho 2. The Slayer. Another band film back in the 80s. And this one, I love this cover. I've this cover since I was a kid. 
how I first got into films was there was a magazine out from the video store video shop should I say and uh, this was on the front cover of the magazine and, and uh, after that I just fell in love with movies and story so far <laughs> It's not that great, but it, it's it's okay. Next up, Madhouse. The um, sequel to Rocky Horror Picture Show, loosely, shock treatment. Pieces, so good slasher. Bob Askins, The Long Good Friday. Edge of the Axe. First 4K in Arrow's um, catalogue. Pitch Black. Good film. Special effects kind of dated, but... Next up, American Arrow Basket Case, which is a strange, strange film. Here we go, the slip covers Thief, Fish Car Wonder. Mutilator Carrie always makes me sad this film just the music and you just want to protect her <laughs> you just want to protect Carrie throughout the film and uh, yeah she comes good though in the end sort of Killer Clowns from Outer Space one of my favourite films Get myself sorted out. Okay. The Endless. Another childhood favourites, Heathers. Another one. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Love this film. It's one of my um, guilty pleasures when I was a kid. Used to have it on every night so I can go to sleep. <laughs> Sixteen Candles. It's one of the first times I've ever watched this film uh, when this came out, and um, I liked it. It was one of them films where it was a John Hughes film that I thought, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like it because everyone else was saying that you know a lot of reviews were. Not good, not too good, but um, I liked it. I thought it was a really good, really good film. Okay. Okay, next one. Weird Science. It's brilliant, just fantastic. do about wearing brow on your head though, but um, yeah, okay. Stop. The Exist Free. Them like scissors. Oof. Gives me shivers. After Midnight. Really like this film. Thought it was quite good. His rendition of um, Stay by Lisa Loeb at the end is, is quite impressive. <laughs> Wreck. I'll record. It's a good film, this. Beyond Reanimator. I thought this was better than um, Bride of Reanimator, personally. Um, yeah, based in the prison. I'll, um, 
all turns to shit in the end and it's quite weird some of the things in it can we steal books here the thing brilliant film special effects are just like wow The Beyond. Love this uh, steel book. I think it's fantastic. It's quite heavy as well. Got a big booklet in it. Dario Denso's Tenebrae. Another good one. Really love this film. Hellraiser, one, two, and three. First one's is an absolute classic. The second one, mm, I'm not too sure. And I've never seen the third one, so I better get watching. Okay, this is my first set of Battle Royale. Just got the new 4K release as well, so am I debating whether I should uh, sell it or not? This still in good nick though after all these years. Next up, the house collection. House one is good. House two is all right. House three, I like that one. House four. It's okay. Not good. Next up, George A. Romero's Between Night and Dawn. So you get... There is always vanilla. Not that great. Seas of the Witch, which I love. First saw that on Bravo in the UK. Loved it. Love the bit with the um, where they're having a joint, and the, um, the wife's uh, friend comes over and uh, she lets she freaks out on it. It's quite funny. And the crazies, no good one. Okay, next up, American Horror Project, Volume One. You get Carnival of Blood, The Witch Who Came From The Sea, and The Premonition. It's in Carnival of Blood. That's alright. A bit quirky again. And uh, The Witch Who Came From The Sea. Um, I've seen some of it, which is quite odd. And The Premonition I haven't seen yet. American Horror Project Volume 2. I'm sure I've seen all these. Dream of Evil. Dark August. The Child. They must have been that great. I totally forgot what, what they were like. Let's watch them again. Next up, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Yeah, it's a good one. I like this one. Despite all the uh, the hates. But hatred for it, though, is uh, because it wasn't like the original. That's it. But, yeah. But it's a good film. It really is a good film. If you like things quirky. Next up. Notorious, the house on the left. Which is quite brutal. It really is. It's got the tagline on it. It's only a film. Keep on yourself. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. Yeah. Next up. Fulci's City of the Living Dead. I love this. This is a part of the uh, Gates of Hell 
trilogy, along with The Beyond. Oh, what's the third one? The Beyond, City Living Dead, and The House by the Cemetery. That's it. Yeah, three brilliant, fantastic films. Just had to unpause it. Yeah, it's getting in the way. Next up, Candyman. I hated this film when it first came out. I just thought it was so boring. What do I know? Yeah, absolutely love it now. Next up is Scram. This is an odd film. Entertaining one. Very odd film. I don't like getting like necromancer films and it's I watched a trail of it once and it it <laughs> it made me feel sick. I don't like anything that's uh that looks lifelike. I, I yeah, can't stand it. Next up, The Hills of Eyes Part Two. Not the greatest of ones, but mm, like the package. <laughs> One of my favourites that I grew up on. American Wealth in London. It's a great film, this. The ending leaves you cold, though. I don't think the... Uh, I don't know. Next up, Nightbreed. This was another one that... I didn't like after watching this one it, it still doesn't get to me so I need to watch it a third time really to get whatever it is about it okay changed angles next up Robocop good sir uh, lovely artwork yeah, love these. Let me just get some space here. Next up, Creep Show Two. I liked it. Thought it was good. Not as good as the first one. Better than the third one. Yeah, love the uh, the raft. The raft in the middle of the lake. It's got the. Uh, The monster lurking in within. Next up, Crash. Quite a weird auditor. Yeah. Love Cronenberg though, so you can't go wrong with Cronenberg. This is my, uh, one of my favourite ones. Tremors. You just can't go wrong with this film. It's just... From the first frame to the last frame, it's just like, you just, just smile. It's just one of them films. Just love it. Next one. Hope it doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> Demons. One and two. Go on, get back into place. Yeah, good films. Really good. I like the second one a bit better than the first one. I think uh, number two is, is more structured than the first. Even though I'd like the first the same. Okay, and the next one. Which you watch this week. Such, such... Fantastic film. Battle Royale. Very nice on 4K. I wouldn't say it's brilliant. Fantastic, but it's the best it's ever looked anyway. Definitely. Okay, and we add our Academy ones there. The Paper Rose of Cairo. Good film. 
with this one. Jeff Daniels coming out of the screen, taking Mary Farrow away for the day. Even though she's dreaming, I suppose. Spoilers, sorry. Gas Food Lodging. Quite a good debut. Like this film. A diner set in the middle of the desert with these two causing trouble for the mother. <laughs> Next up, Nightfall. And the last one, The Shelter in Sky. Another fantastic one. Used to watch some Sky movies when it was on. Yeah. Brilliant. That's it. For the Arrow ones. Next up is all the boutique ones. Uh, like, like, share and subscribe. And all that. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.